everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie Hammock and today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading using my favourite deck which is made by Oliver Hibbert. If you don't know who Oliver Hibbert is then follow him on his Instagram here. He's a really wonderful psychedelic artist and makes really wonderful art so you should definitely go and check him out. So I am a little bit more dressed up today with face paint makeup and the handmade clothes that I've made. Whereas the video I made last week when I was playing Animal Crossing is more of an everyday look that I have for just when I go to the shops or meeting up with friends in town. But the face paint look that does have a concept behind it that I developed while I was at uni but I will probably touch on that in another video but I mostly wear this kind of makeup face paint for when I go out to a rave or a club or a party I just really enjoy wearing it out in the real world and not just for makeup videos or just for photos that I put online. So previous to the pandemic that is the kind of environment that I would wear this sort of look in. Yeah <laughs> I, it just makes me so happy and it is this other sort of part of myself that is something that I'm able to kind of reach in and pull forward to the surface. But yeah I will talk about it in another video. Let's have a closer look. This is a Sandra Rhodes scarf that I got in a sample sale and these are earrings that I designed and made myself for my brand Sci Fairy and this is a gift I was given um, and it's an Andrew Logan brooch and I do uh, face painting for him as well but again I will probably make another video going much deeper into that and then this is a skirt slash top that I made myself so yeah I like to make wearable art this is the deck and it's got this really lovely embroidered uh, eye on it so I'll just open it up so the deck came with some little bits and pieces so there's this little tarot booklet I can show you let's open this up so it's just got really beautiful imagery of his tarot in here and he's signed it as well which is really lovely um so yeah it's just like a little introduction into who he is as the artist and everything um and I guess yeah just his journey with making this beautiful tarot deck and then there's this little thank you card as well you are magic and this extra special little magic tarot card isn't it so beautiful before I get the cards out I do like to do tarot reading for myself and I have done it for friends as well. Usually my kind of personal beliefs is that I will get the person who is wanting the reading to do the shuffling just because it's it's their influence on the cards because they're the one that is subconsciously deciding the shuffle um, and when to stop and when to rotate it and everything so personally I don't want my influence on it. Although saying that I did do a reading for my mum maybe like a month ago and that was over zoom so that was the first time that I'd ever tried shuffling for somebody else so what I did was I shuffled and just let her guide me so I was like tell me when like how much you want me to sort of shuffle by like if you want me to twist it so there's possibly a reversed reading you know tell me when to stop etc etc so and it actually worked out pretty well I'm yet to try it with some other people so maybe I will do that in future so for starters I am going to do a three card reading it will include a fourth card we'll be looking at the overall theme of what the cards will be referring to and then the other three cards will represent past present and future within the theme. Okay, so I have the cards. I will just give you a little look at what some of them look like. Aren't they? Some of them are upside down. Um, aren't they so gorgeous? I'm literally obsessed with them. I don't know if I have a favourite one yet though. Um, 
I mean, I have a favourite tarot card, which is the moon. I just find I really relate to it um, because of the imagery within it and how it's the symbolism is broken down so the moon is like a like a false light it's not the light like the sun it reflects the sun so it reflects like um, a false light which is like a full sense of security or a full sense of hope which is the symbolism and it's got a feral dog and a house trained dog in it as well so it's kind of the two sides of the mind like the um, conscious subconscious but I also love in the traditional imagery I can't remember the name of the artist off the top of my head that did the iconic tarot drawings but it's a crayfish coming out of a pool of water which is leading on a path to go between the dogs and these two towers and up to the mountain with the moon above it but the crayfish coming out of the water represents your subconscious fears coming to the surface so just in terms of what I experience with my mental health um, I just find that card really thought-provoking and I can see how it can really tie in with what I experience so yeah I, I, I really like that card a lot it means a lot to me but yeah uh, let me know if there's like cards that you like and have significant um, meaning to you as well I'd be interested to know cool so I will begin shuffling so a moment of silence please everybody thank you very much thank you okay so i'm gonna start with splitting them in half and then this might be a bit difficult to do on this fluffy material well i'll do my best yeah it's kind of proving difficult i'm gonna just take a moment to shuffle these on a different surface because i'm picking up bits of fluff on my hands when you shuffle you can either ask a specific question and just kind of hold that in mind as you're shuffling or you can just let your mind go blank and the cards will answer what you're truly asking it's also sometimes not quite worth asking something which is a bit too simple because it will still always answer what you really deep down want answering. I usually find it good to do a tarot reading when I'm feeling stuck or I'm not really sure I'm just what I'm doing in life or just in those moments of I just need some clarity um, that's what they're really used for as a tool for bringing clarity to something that you probably already knew about yourself so I do find them really helpful as a tool like that. Okay, so I have now shuffled the cards until I felt it was right to stop. I'm going to first pick out the sort of theme card for what the topic will be about. So that is the Seven of Swords. The past is the Page of Swords reversed. That's interesting. The present is the Five of Pentacles. And the future is the world so that's usually a really good card to get so i'm interested to find out what that means even though i've been doing tarot for literally years now like several years i think i still am like getting used to what each card means i think there's about 75 in the deck so it's a lot to remember especially as there's like major arcana and minor arcana and it's just they all mean different things as far as i'm aware the uh major arcana so that is uh, one of them which is the world um, that means quite a uh, significant thing in your life that will change or happen or something's telling you so whereas the other ones the minor arcana are more like day-to-day -day kind of events that you kind of have to look out for or just um, be conscious of so this is totally not an ad <laughs> so because I'm still getting used to and learning I use a website called Biddy Tarot if anyone wants any help with that and it's just got like really good insight into letting you know what your card means okay so after just having a little read up on the main card for this reading having read it I realized that I've actually had this card a couple of times before so the imagery in the card is you know this person has got these swords and he's kind of sneaking around a little bit up to 
you know, who knows what. Part of the description is saying that I should either be aware of myself or others for, you know, deception or trickery. It also implies that to achieve certain goals that I have, that I may have to go a certain different route to get around them, which I feel applies more to my situation, considering I've had this card come up in the recent past when I've done a reading for myself. So there are certain things, you know, there's certain goals I want to achieve, um, especially this year after everything that's been happening with lockdown and the pandemic. I was actually going to apply for a course last year, but ended up not happening because of the pandemic. It's just kind of saying that I should be thinking of other routes, even if it means it's like an unconventional route, that there's other ways of kind of going around things and achieving goals. So I, I feel that's more applies to myself. So yeah, that will be the kind of theme we're running with. So it will be to do with my goals and what not. So I'll move on to the past card. After just doing a little reading up on the Page of Swords reversed, and obviously it's linked to my past within relationship to the main card, it's saying about it represents maybe not like speaking my truth or going ahead and sort of putting myself out there that I'd rather sort of be anonymous and I definitely feel that's true because in the last couple of lockdowns I have literally just gone into a shell and hidden away and I've been meaning for a really long time now to do more online and have more of a presence and I've always been anxious about sharing my voice uh, like my literal voice online because it's quite different to doing like a little TikTok video or taking a photo of myself because it's doing a video like this is like some sort of representation of like more me really it's more even more of my authentic self talking and talking has just been has always had anxiety surrounding it for me so the fact that i'm like speaking on here now is well it has been like a big step for me to kind of get to with mental health and everything getting in the way so i definitely relate to that from what the card's saying in my past it's also saying stuff about thinking before i speak which i feel like i'm constantly doing all the time anyway because of anxiety that i'm just like you know typing out a message and then deleting it and retyping it and just uh becoming overwhelming and I find that interesting as well that it's kind of mentioned that. What I wanted to touch on as well was the last month or so. So relating to the past card, I've been seeing a lot of repeating numbers, namely ones, and I've mostly been seeing them. So it will say like 11 minutes past 11. So if you see repeating numbers, you're supposed to sort of take note of what's happening around you in that moment, or maybe what you were just thinking, as it's usually a message about that. So I've been seeing one one ones one 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 ones in the context mostly of TikTok and going back to what I was saying about feeling anxious and nervous about having more of a presence online um not just having images of myself on Instagram but kind of sharing my creativity in in such a way like as I am now speaking on YouTube that was something I was really anxious about but it I was seeing these repeating numbers once on like TikTok, so it'd be like 111 likes or 11 shares or whatever, and I don't know, like it was just like a, like a nice encouraging thing, whether it meant anything or not. For me, I guess because I am wanting to create this content, it was like a nice encouraging thing to see. So yeah, I just sort of wanted to kind of share that link that I found between the numbers and the card, kind of saying, you know, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. So yeah, I will move on to the present now, which is the Five of Pentacles. Oh my god, so after reading this one, it is just so wild for like present circumstances that's going on right now and I, I'm literally just gonna read out word for word some little segments from <laughs> what I've read here. The Five of Pentacles is a card of financial loss and poverty. You have hit hard times, especially when it comes to your work, career, finances and material possessions. 
aka me currently being on furlough. It says the upside is that this is a minor arcana card with temporary effects rather than a major arcana card which has longer term impact. This too shall pass. Also says, so relating to, you know, less income and everything because I'm on furlough and lockdown, I obviously realised that I am very lucky to still have a job when I know so many people have lost their jobs. It's just a this whole thing is a messed up situation. So it also says you are sabotaging your ability to create abundance because you only focus on what you lack. All you can see is what is going wrong. To shift this energy, look for evidence of what you do have, even if it's very small or seemingly insignificant, and express your gratitude for those blessings in your life. It says to redirect my attention to what I have now and what I want in the future, so my manifesting powers get used for good. So this card is wild, is it? She very much on point with present circumstances being the present card it's saying about uncertainty and isolation and financial situations being difficult um so for me i'm currently on furlough yeah it's just very on point for kind of i guess what we're all really experiencing right now you know we're literally still in lockdown at the moment the card is encouraging me to reach out to somebody and just ask for help if you need it maybe it's for for the sake of your own well-being just to have somebody to talk to it's like kind of saying that you know there is someone there on the other end basically yeah i guess like making sure i i make communication with people enough i know that i haven't seen friends in person for like a really long time so yeah that would definitely be helpful towards my well-being so i can see why that relates to like me in this present moment it's also saying for me to not focus on the negatives at the moment so with limited kind of resources around me i'm not kind of able to go to the shop so easily or um to get creative materials um so i just like making sure that i can use the things that i already have at home and the resources around me um to make best with what i can do okay so i will move on to the final card which is the world and that is for the future okay so the world is a really positive one which i'm so pleased to receive for um the future card so the world is a a major arcana card so it means quite a big event the world is also the last card in the uh, major arcana so the first card in the major arcana is the fool so it's the fool's journey through each stage each card and the world is the final card which means the fool has learnt everything that there is to learn and is at this point of you know completion and like full circle really it's basically saying you know in the future with the goals that i have that you know i just need to keep working on them and like the present card said using the resources i i have around me already that i can basically achieve these goals which is really like <laughs> really nice to hear as i was reading up on what the card meant i was just like oh god i always have this feeling of i can't really celebrate the achievements because it's like what if you know something goes wrong and i've i've kind of celebrated kind of thing but it was literally saying you know just take a moment to step back and have that moment for yourself and just be pleased that you've achieved those goals before you go on to the next big projects that you have in mind it was also saying you know it's a good time to reflect on what you've learned in the past what went well what went wrong uh honestly like when i do tarot readings for myself or anyone else it always like amazes me at how accurate they are and and obviously you can apply any kind of symbolism you want to your own life and fit that around your own life but the, there are literally 75 cards in the deck and the fact that they literally panned out like this and the fact that this present card was literally talking about financial situation and being in isolation and everything is just it's a bit uncanny whether you watching believe in them or not or just find them as a useful tool they are good to use as a guide for clarity really or making you think about stuff that is already that you are kind of subconsciously aware of and it kind of brings those thoughts and feelings to the, the forefront and gets you to really critically think 
about what's going on in your life so i definitely do enjoy using them as a tool i personally feel that you you're made of energy and you are kind of transferring those energies into the card when you shuffle so i don't know like something going on there i just yeah i find it really interesting so i'm really pleased with that reading tarot readings i've done in the past have literally kind of spelled out certain things so it's like there was a job in the past that i was thinking of leaving but it told me to kind of hang on in there and I'm so glad I did because certain events ended up happening and things sort of ended up falling in at the right time and place. I won't really go into it, but there was also a particular card that told me to watch out for somebody. It didn't say who, but I had a feeling who it was and the card was fucking right. And I just, I don't know, <laughs> just little things like that do make me wonder you know there's something else going on there so but yeah that's for you to speculate so to summarize the reading the main card is talking about my goals um so that's what the reading is really aimed at the past being don't be afraid to put yourself out there which is easier said than done of course but the present being you know don't be afraid to use the resources around you whether that be the tools or the people friends and family and the future being a sign of this will come to fruition this will come full circle all the things you've been putting energy into will manifest so yeah i feel like it's a really positive nice little reading which is really lovely considering what's going on right now anyway i hope you enjoyed this reading that i did for myself maybe let me know if this is kind of content you like because I enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching and coming on this tarot reading journey with me and I'm sure I'll be making some more content again soon. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, bye!